I was telling you off camera what I wanted you to do for day and night. So we're going to act like you just woke up this morning. Okay. You exfoliated last night and you washed your face. Okay. okay. So we're going to start off with a redness calming moisturizer on top of the skin. Okay. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to do about three or four pumps. It's about okay. the size of a nickel. Okay. Good. Rub that in well. Apply it everywhere but not your eye bed. So apply it on the forehead, the ears, and I also want you to bring it down to your chest. Okay. Questions about that? No, ma'am. So we talked about earlier off camera that we're gonna put a moisturizer. I want to make sure we're using a moisturizer that has F, um, SPF. Okay. Over 35, preferably. This one's 45. Okay. And I'm gonna put this on your finger. You're gonna show the camera. Remember, I told you don't need any about the size of a P. Okay. Good. Good. So do, I want you to just kind of rub that in your fingers, like okay. hands like that, and then I want you to kind of like pat the skin with it. Yeah. You're just gonna pat the forehead, underneath the eyes, and then the chest and the neck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pat that all on. Good. And then you can rub it in after you're done patting it in. You Good. Now I want you to go all day, in. right? Yes. All right, we're going to take Red Fix Primer. I would tell you to use one good pump. Okay. okay. I'm going to do my side and then you'll do your side. Okay. So I'm just going to relax your forehead. Good. I'm just going to tap this out on top of the skin everywhere. Especially the places where you tend to be the most red. Okay. I'm going to do like a half a pump to finish off the rest of the face. I'm going to rub that in well okay. all over just like you did the moisturizer. Good. And when you rub it into, I want you to rub it underneath the eyes, bring it back to the hairline, back to the ears. Okay. Great. Another place you really don't need it is in the eye bed. Okay. So we're going to take brush number one. Okay. This is called a duo fiber brush. And on here, you can even see it says airbrush foundation. Okay. Okay. We're going to put about a size of a quarter into a tray. Okay. And we're going to do something called stippling. Okay. So we're just going to tap the tip of the bristles okay. into the foundation. Now, I don't need to put tons of it. I'm just grabbing a little bit of the foundation. Okay. And if you ever heard someone say, I sponge my wall with paint, mm -hmm, you know they mm -hmm, stipple mm -hmm. it. That's what you're going to be doing, okay. stippling. So we're going to stipple the foundation first on top of the face. Okay. So I'm going to do the jawline first. So okay. turn your face just a little to the side. I'm going to pat this out and spread it first. Look what just that little bit does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going to buff it. I'm not going to push too hard in the skin. I'm using a olive tone color okay. uh, because I want it to cover up the red. Okay. See, I'm doing small circles, mm -hmm. and I never move up until it's finished being blended. Okay. Okay. Now, when I go in the neck, you can go up and down. You don't have to do circles. Halfway down the neck. Okay. Look, I'm grabbing just a little bit, not okay. too much. Stipple on top of the face. Just what foundation can do. God, it is amazing. Into the hairline, underneath the eyes, look at. And I'm going to grab just a little bit from the top of the eyelid. Not too much. Look at, so I can get right underneath. I did do the ears. Did you notice mm -hmm. that? Okay. Questions about that part? Mm -mm. Okay. No. So look, I only use a little. Uh -huh. Quarter is even almost too much. You only yeah. need a little bit. So you grab just a little bit at a time, stipple it, okay. and then pat it on the face first. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to pat it out first. You see? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Always start at the bottom and then slowly, like in a zigzag, as you tap it out, then buff it in a circle. Good. Now go ahead and start buffing softly. Good. So if you think of small cinnamon rolls. Ooh, Santa Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the eyes, it's kind of easier if you just sweep like a letter U. Okay. Drop your chin down so you can use the tip of the bristles and get right up into the eye and the nose. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Pat, pat, pat. Try not to lift the forehead when you're blending on top of the forehead. Okay, don't. Good. Do all the ears. Good. So they're not pink. And then on the neck, you're going to go up and down. You should be coming at least halfway down. You always go back even towards the ears. Good. Chin, top of the lip. Places girls forget is underneath the nose, the curvature of the nose, or the, in the inner corner between the eye and the, yeah, there you go. And then go ahead and just use what you have left over for the eye bed. Do you have questions about that stuff yet? Yeah. 
pretty simple. Okay, write that step down. This is called a highlighting sponge, or sometimes they call it a stippling sponge. It also is called a beauty blender. Okay. I always kind of wet mine and then squeeze all the water out just so it gets softer. Okay. And we're gonna take the corrector and just kind of tap it okay. like that, and the product gets picked up. And we're gonna take this yellow marker okay. and highlight this entire page in yellow because what I want you to do is follow this page. Okay. Wherever you see yellow on here is where you're going to apply the product. Okay. okay. So you see I did underneath the eyes. Okay. Now watch. I'm going to stipple the side of the nose because it's all the way in the center of it. Top part of the cheek all the way up to the temple. And do you feel me patting? Mm -hmm. Do you notice um, I'm not wiping? Okay. So what you see it's making it bright. Mm -hmm. It's also not going to make it overly creamy. Okay. Now this sponge, you have to be careful. If you wipe, it takes away primer, foundation, gotcha. highlight. It's just like a dish sponge. It'll yeah. take everything away. Okay. So your goal is to pat and to pat on top of the skin. And as you pat, it just deposits just what it needs, just a little bit of color. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Wow. And you do your side. Okay. I want you to do underneath the eyes and the whole side bridge. Good. Don't be afraid to push into the product. There you go. Good. And pat, pat, pat. Good. Awesome. You should be going right underneath the eye and all the way into the corner, just like in this picture. Okay. So you should be coming right up here into the eyes, the whole top part of the nose. All that should be solid. It should be bright, basically, when you're looking at it. And now I know she still has some pink right here. Can you cover that for me? There you go. And if you have to add more product, just add more product. I'm going to do this part too. Do finish this part, the okay. top part of that cheek. There you go. Remember, no wiping. Yeah, so always act like you're patting a baby's back. Okay. There you go. Good. Now pat, pat, pat. We're going to do the top of the nose and the middle part of the forehead. Mm -hmm. You have to relax the eyebrows when you're doing the forehead. I know it's probably just habit of you lifting the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, yeah, hold, hold it like this. I think it'll be easier when you're doing the nose. Hold it sideways. Okay. That way you can see better, I think. Okay. When you're holding it this way, um, instead of your hand right in front of you, okay. sometimes it's easier if you just kind of hold it sideways so that you can see. Okay. okay. No questions about that part. So mm -hmm. you're going to go here and all the way up to the center part between the eyebrows. Gotcha. Right. Oh. Now it kind of looks like, um, you know, kind of like an upside down triangle between the eyebrows because you want to come up to about the peak of the eyebrow. Okay. So you're going to come up here to the peak and here to the peak. Okay. You want to kind of go out towards the peaks. Okay. Okay. Questions yet about that part? I don't think so. Okay, our last step is going to be our top of our lip. And you notice mm -hmm. I put just some little, small little dots. Okay. That's just telling you I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit. I'm going to make that top lip look a little fuller. Okay. And I still can see, if you can see here, a little pink still. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come through, look, and just add a little bit more highlighter. I don't want to see any pink okay. there. You see how I'm being a little bit more gentle, but mm -hmm. applying more product? Mm -hmm. So no pink anywhere in those highlighted zones. Even if, let's say, your nose was pink from being out the sun, make sure you cover the pink. Okay. I don't want any pink in those areas. Okay. Okay? I'm going to take brush number two. Okay. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what side you want to use. Okay. We're going to take our transparent highlight powder and just kind of pounce that okay. into the brush and tap out any excess. Okay. We're going to set our highlighted areas first. Okay. So the first area is going to be underneath the eyes. Okay. Drop the chin down. Good. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the flat side, not the tip. Okay. All right. And pat that in. It's okay if it looks like powder. It's completely see-through. It's transparent. Okay. And set just our highlighted areas. Once I've set, then you can brush off any excess. Look okay. at Top part of the lip. All the way top part of the cheeks to the temples. And the middle part of the forehead. Wow. Got it? Mm -hmm. You have to set it first though. So we're going to tap. When I tap, I kind of tap on the flat side of the brush, not the top, and then tap out any excess like okay. that. And basically, I just pat it just like I stippled before. Good. You should be going right under the lashes, all the way to the temple, underneath um, the eyes, corner of the eyebrow, side of the nose. Good. You should be hitting the top part of your cheeks. Because remember, we highlighted all the way here. Yes. Okay, good. The top part of your lip and the middle part of your forehead and your nose. Good.
Now kick out any excess. That was easy, right? Yeah, that was easy. Good, you should be getting all the way to the corner here. Yep. Okay. Write that part down. We want, we want to set that part first. Mm -hmm. Then we can move on to your darker powder. We're going to take brush number three. It's a powder brush. Okay. Nude beige powder is the color. Okay. You're just going to pounce it in really well into the brush. Like that. Okay. Okay. Use a little less than a teaspoon. You don't need a lot. Okay. We're going to set all the areas that are not highlighted. Okay. So just don't touch any of the areas that are yellow on okay. that chart. The areas that still have foundation, right? Mm hmm. I didn't touch my cheek, right? I'm going to do the top part of my forehead. Okay. Black shy brows. Okay. Just not my temples in the middle part. Okay. Questions? Nope. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. bottom part. Yep. Ears. You want to tap, grab, pounce that brush into that. Go and push the brush, don't be afraid. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wash your eyebrows. Yeah, there you go. Don't forget your neck. Don't forget your ears. The only areas you are not touching are highlighted areas, which are here, mm -hmm. here. You can think of a V, mm -hmm. right? The nose and the middle part of that forehead. Gotcha. You got it? Got it. Okay. So we're going to take contours in your, this is called, uh, you can write over here, the nude kit. That's the name of the kit. The nude kit, by the way, don't throw it out. You can replace any of your colors. Oh, okay. And this is just, a, see, it's magnetized. You just uh, pop it up, okay. drop it in. Cool. So we're going to take your contour brush, brush mm -hmm. number four. I put three taps of color. I'm going to tap the color into it. Okay. okay. Be careful not to contour too far down the forehead. Because okay. it'll make your forehead look short. But okay. we don't want it to look short. Okay. You don't have a large forehead. But we are going to create some depth on the back end of the forehead. Okay. So I'm going to hold the brush narrow. Okay. So that's wide. This is narrow. Okay. We're going to lightly brush this into the hairline. And just again, tap softly. And then just add a little bit of depth on the back end of the forehead. Do you see how it's like in the hairline? Uh -huh. Just add some more. Okay. Not too much. Tap. Can do yours. I don't want you to do too much of your forehead because, again, if you go down too far, it's going to shorten the forehead. Yeah, you're just going to brush that into the hairline. Go ahead. Okay. And you see here you have a little bit of a yeah, I can see spot that. there. And that's just because, uh, hold, the, hold, the, hold your hand. You want to brush like you're sweeping. Okay. Instead of just placing the brush, you actually want to sweep it. There you go. Go ahead. Sweeping, Good. Megan. You gotta yeah. sweep it. Yeah, you're gonna sweep. Exactly. So the brush has an angle to it. Okay. So it's meant to go like this, gotcha. not like that. Okay. Not like you're pushing it and you wanna sweep it. Okay. So if this was my wall and I was painting it, it's like that. Okay. And you don't wanna right. go okay. like that because then you'll get the roundness of the brush. Like you saw you got earlier, you got that little round shape just from pressing it like that. Okay. So you're gonna start from the back end and kind of sweep it into the hairline like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, questions okay. about that part? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to tap that. We're going to do that all the way around the entire hairline. Okay. See how I'm sweeping it in? Mm-hmm. Okay, do your side. <laughs> I've tried to do this before. You and that's, can do it. That's where I uh, okay, left the uh, great, the big brown spot. spot. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably because when you brushed it, you probably pressed on it, and we're kind of patting it in mm -hmm. the skin instead of sweeping it. We just want a little bit of warmth, not tons. Good. So basically, you're seeing a little bit of it. Okay. See how I kind of did into the hairline? Okay. Like this. So you're going to go back and forth with truffle into the hairline. Okay. But yes, that does happen to a lot of people. Because they get, they're like, what? I don't, it looks dirty. Like many. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to tap four taps, tap it out. Watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna place the contour at the back part of the cheek, not in the front. Okay. So we're gonna start right underneath the sideburn. Okay. And we're gonna come straight down and then we're gonna kind of hook it underneath the apple. So watch, I'm gonna start here. Um, and the line's gonna go very straight, smile for me. And we're gonna end right underneath the apple like a Nike swoosh a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna do 10 strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So it's gonna be dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're gonna smile and end right underneath the apple. So like a Nike swoosh, high, low, high. Oh my goodness. Got it? Yeah. Look at the difference between the two sides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the key is when you grab color, always bring it 
all the way back into the top part of the ear. These 10 strokes are the most important because I want this to be gradient, meaning this is dark and you fade it into the eye.